And the fine line between success and Olympic irrelevance. In response, she connected with a veteran and controversial coach, John Smith. Smith, who has guided numerous athletes to Olympic medals and seen a number of his runners suspended for doping, knows all too well that on the track with success comes speculation. It comes with the territory. Their fans, their critics, it's just part of the whole story. You have to prove something to someone about something. And the more walls you have to climb, the more you prepare and the purpose you have. Um, um. Usually when people want to come to me, they have run into an impasse and they need to move in a little different direction. Stay over. Stay over. He did break me down to where I was calling my dad every day. Like, I don't know if I really want to train with this guy or not. Elimination and replacement. What you put in is what you're going to pull out. He was just tear me down every day, every day, every day. That's 14, 7, and pick your feet up. But then it came around to where he would lift me, lift me, lift me. Oh, my goodness. 10.6 seconds. That is unbelievable. As Smith developed yet another star, suspicion spread. Look at Carmelita the Jenner. How was it possible that Jenner, two months before her 30th birthday, could become the second fastest female spreader in history? Sandwiched between the clouded performances of Marion Jones and Florence Griffith Joyner. In 2011, she dominated rivals from Jamaica. Carmelita Jenner was the her season culminating in an emotional final at the World Championships in Daegu. And the final leaders get the victory. When you're out there, you're just not out there for you. You're out there for everybody that supports you, that loves you, that wants this for you more than you want it for yourself. At 32, Jetter runs tonight for family, country, a no-nonsense coach, and for herself, in spite of the doubters in the cyber world and beyond. You know, I don't even pay it any mind, because I'm out here every day busting my butt, you know, and as long as you know what you're doing and you believe in yourself, people can talk until they're blue in the face. <laughs> it does not pay me any mind. So Carmelita says she doesn't pay attention to that. Now 32 years old and arguably at her best in her first Olympics. And Tom, she may be paying the price for the sins of this great great stars like Mary and Jones. Anytime you are close to age 30 and continuing to improve in this sport, you're going to raise suspicion. But she knows you can either let that sort of stuff consume you or you can use it to fuel you. And as she said, she uses it to keep herself going. She had the fastest time in the first round, 10.83. And also in this semifinal heat is Veronica Campbell-Brown, two-time Olympic gold medalist at 200 meters and world champion back in 2007 at 100 meters. She won her heat in 10.94. Uh, Tom, both have all the accolades, but none have been better for Jamaica. 14 medals, Tom, in the world championships and the Olympic Games since the Athens Olympics, and only one of them is bronze. So here are the lane assignments in this semifinal heat. With Carmelita Jetter in lane six, Veronica Campbell Brown is in lane four. And between them, Simoy Hackett of Trinidad and Tobago, the former collegian who was third in the hundred this year competing for LSU. And I wonder if she saw young J. Hugh Gordon qualify for the final. They're about the same age and have been on coming up through the ranks together. This young lady is poised for a breakthrough. But what a challenge with the former world champion Veronica Brown, Veronica Campbell Brown to her left, and the reigning world champion Carmelita Jeter to her right. Veronica Campbell Brown had a very good start yesterday. But Carmelita Jeter, I thought, looked the best in the opening rounds. The top two in each heat. Next two fastest overall. And the gun sends him away. Campbell Brown off to a good start. Now here comes Jeter. It's Campbell Brown in front. Carmelita Jeter now advancing to come astride and win it. With Campbell Brown in second place, the two automatic qualifiers, Carmelita Jenner and Veronica Campbell Brown. And that's the second fastest time she's run this year. But Veronica Campbell Brown had a very good start as well, and she has to be very happy about how she is heading into this final.
Here we are at the start. This is Carlita Jenner, Veronica Campbell Brown, right here in four. Watch how well they react. If Veronica Campbell Brown and Carmelita Jeter react like that in the final song, they will not be beaten by three people. Because they can finish so well that if they're starting that well, there's nobody that can get so far ahead of them that they can't make up the ground. Both of them are going to head into this final with tons of confidence. Two veterans, Carmelita Jetter, age 32, Veronica Campbell Brown, age 30, into the final later tonight. Carmelita Jetter in 10.83, Veronica Campbell Brown, 10.89. And coming up next, as the semifinals continue, we'll see American Allison Felix in her 100 meter semifinal, facing off against the defending Olympic champion, Shelly Ann Fraser Price of Jamaica. The games of the